Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be taking a look at a brand new feature to Adobe Camera Raw 8 and Lightroom 5. So let's jump in and see how we get on. So here we have my image in Camera Raw 8.2 as it stands. And I've already been having a little bit of a play with this. You can see that I've changed the highlights and the whites and the blacks and the clarity, etc. I've also added a radial filter, which is new to Adobe Camera Raw, but not the feature that we're looking at here today. One of the problems I have with a lot of my images is that I don't get them straight. Now I've got the straighten tool, of course, but there's something new in Adobe Camera Raw 8. So let's jump across to the lens correction tab. Now I've enabled the lens correction because, uh, well, this isn't a very good lens and you can see the before and after it's not a very good lens at all. But if I scooch over to the manual tab here, you can see that there's some new buttons underneath the word upright. And this will look at the verticals and the horizontals and try and alter your image to suit. So let's have a look. First of all, let's click on this icon here, which is apply only level correction. So that's like the horizontals. Let's click on that and see how we get on. So there we go. Just give it a little bit of a twist. So that's after and that's before. You see, it's just a little twist. Make sure everything, as far as Photoshop can tell, is all level. OK, let's scooch along to the next one, which is our verticals. Let's click on that. And once again, it's just making it upright a bit more. So where it looked like it was leaning backwards, it's pulled it up. So that's after, that's before and after. Now, of course, I may want to do the horizontal and the vertical, and that's this A button here. So let's give that a go. And sure enough, it's going to do both at the same time, the horizontal and the vertical. Let's go before and after. So that's before and that's after. It's almost as if it's twisting it round to get it all into perspective and to keep our lines straight. So we can check on this by putting on the grid down at the bottom here, and we can see that it's not done a too bad a job. Considering the complexity of the lines in this, it's done pretty well. So let's go before, way off, and after, pretty good. Okay, there's one more button to do, and that's this one at the end here with the, it looks like a checkerboard. And what this is going to do is it's going to try and make it all the lines horizontal and vertical, and it doesn't mind stretching the image out to do it. So let's give that a go. And sure enough, there we are. It's tried to alter the perspective to make it look better. So that's the after, that's the before. Let's go backwards and forwards. You can see what's going on here. And it's really done too much really in this instance. Now for some buildings, I've found that it works really, really well. But here it's accentuated the front of the wishing well a little bit too much. So I would go back to the auto here, which works really well for this image. So after alter and that's before. So there we are. Really easy for if you've got one leg shorter than the other, like I seem to have, this works incredibly well. And of course, it brings your buildings and structures upright as well. There we go. I'm Eric Renner. This has been a video for tipsquirrel.com. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye for now.